Hello, procrastinators! This week, Rasputin revealed the Xbox Series S, a £249 next generation game console. Ah, right, so the Xbox SS, as it really shouldn't be called, is a smaller, less powerful next gen Xbox with all the features of its much, much bigger brother but a smaller SSD, no disk drive, and a targeted 1440p resolution, which I don't think it'll hit. Um, it plays all the Xbox Series X games and has all that lovely backwards compatibility, but it is only £249. That's less than a Switch. That's not aggressive pricing, that's violent pricing. Look, every generation of consoles has a set price of entry. Um, with us PC lot over in the distance trying to argue that a £1,300 GPU is a good deal for admittedly slightly better reflections. But the Series S dramatically reduces this entry price and that's damn smart, especially coming from the company that tried to flog every Xbox One with a Kinect last time around. Do you, me do you remember that? Do you remember that? <laughs> Look, we can all agree that 4K is, you know, technically better than 1080p. But is it £200 better? Remember, this is a console, and with consoles come view distances. You know, on my PC, I can tell 4K and 1080p apart because my screen is never more than a foot or two from my face. On a TV, well, this graph and many, many others like it show that my 60-inch TV that's 11 feet away is barely worth being 1080p. And this is a TV that feels fucking massive in my room. Like, any bigger than that, and Greg Davis would terrify the shit out of me when I watch Taskmaster. Well, you know, more so than usual. Anyway, time will tell how well the Series X performs, but if it matches the X in everything but resolution, then we're gonna really see what the mainstream audience think of 4K. And personally, I don't think they give a shit. Slightly more Xbox news this week. Uh, we also had this headline appear. Get EA Play with Xbox Game Pass for no additional cost. That's right, gaming's best deal just got better with all those EA titles that you want to play, like, um... Uh... All those EA titles that you want to play coming to Xbox Game Pass. Brilliant! But also we have this headline. Xbox Game Pass for PC is doubling in price next week. I... What, but you just said... No additional cuts, you bastards! Right, enough Xbox news. Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 is coming to the Switch and sort of to the PC again. I say sort of because Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Complete Edition Collection, whatever the fuck it's called, um, as far as I can tell, it's just adding HD resolutions as default instead of its previous 4.3 ones. It's pretty much just a config file edit. That's it. So, sorry to say, but I don't think we're going to see the return of the Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Complete series as much as I'd love that. With no signs that the game engine is being changed, the frame rate in this new version just won't have improved on the 16-year-old version. So, my little park will still be the laggy hellhole it always was. Boo. Boo to you, sirs. However, something that's coming back strong is the incredible Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the game, returning from its PlayStation 3 graveyard and finally... Finally coming to PC, as well as Switch, PS4, Xbox One, and... S What's that say? Stadia. What's Stadia? Uh, the brilliant beat em up was delisted from digital stores six years ago, making it a bugger to get a hold of, but now it's back. Well, later in the year it's back. With all its lovely pixel art, its tricky difficulty, an incredible soundtrack by Anam... Anam Manor... By Anam... Anam Manor... Anam... Am, am, it's an incredible soundtrack. Right, that's all from me. Nintendo announced a prequel to Breath of the Wild, but I don't think anybody's really interested in that. This week, I'll be live streaming a game I haven't decided on yet uh, on Sunday from 12 noon UK time, and we shall continue our bizarrely popular MasterChef Australia watch along on Tuesday and Thursday, 7 pm UK time. Until then, ta ra. Look, every generation of consoles has a set price of entry. Um, with us PC lot over in the distance trying to argue to ourselves that uh, 1300 cheap... <laughs> 1300? Ugh, American. Ugh, ugh. How dare I say things like that? Next I'll be saying magazine with a Z.